So in the last video we tried making a ragdoll character that actually stands with forces that make the ragdoll character try to balance itself and in this video we're going to make a way for the character to walk left and right so basically there are two ways of making the character walk and those are that you can change the rest rotation only which will look like this you will just go here and with us with some script you're going to change the way his legs rotate but as you can see that's that will be really hard so the other way is by adding impulses when you walk left and when you walk right and to make the legs move you add the impulses to the legs itself so the first thing what I want to do is I want to change the gravity then I will go to project settings physics 2d and there I'm going to change the gravity to something like 19 now what will happen is normally Unity uses a gravity of 9.81 which is the gravity we have at Earth and now because we added more gravity the objects will fall faster and quicker everything will be much heavier so maybe we'll have to change the mass of the rigid bodies later so the first thing what we want to do is now we go to the ragdoll game object and we open the stigman controller script inside of the stigman controller script we are going to make two public booleans up here so the first thing i'm going to call public bool right and the second one i'll call public bool left then after that we have a way we need a way to trigger those booleans so in the update void I'm going to type if input dot get key down key code dot D so if we walk right we want to set right equals to true now just copy that and paste it again and this time change the key code to a and we want to set left to true so now if we go back to unity we'll see that there are going to be two public booleans so if i start the game and i will click on d the right boolean will be activated and if i if I click on A, the left boolean will be activated. But right now there is no way to deactivate the booleans. So for that we can use if get key up. And what we can do is just for each button get key up and then right to false and then the same thing for left. But I found an easier way and that's just by typing if input dot get button up and then horizontal which is just the a and d buttons the horizontal buttons that you have set up in unity so if you if those one of those buttons goes up then you want to set left to false and right to false so now it should work so if we open up unity and inside unity we play and if you look at those booleans now i hold the d button now i release it now i hold the a button now i release it now i hold, hold both and i release it so no problems at all 
Now for the next part, we want to make two public vectors and some floats for actually making the character walk. So we make a public vector two called walk right vector. And we make a public vector two called walk left vector like this and let me make it bigger so you guys can actually see it better and then what you want to do is create a private float called move delay pointer and a public float variable called move delay and I'll tell you in a bit why we need those because these are very important now after that we can go and make the actual walking so under all of this we make a oops a while and while right equals to true and left equals to false because we don't want them to mess uh, mix it up and time dot time is greater than move delay pointer then we want to invoke two um, two functions and we just invoke a function and we didn't make it yet but we're going to call it step one right and we want to invoke that at zero seconds and then we want to invoke a function called step two right and we want to play that zero point zero like eight five that should be good and make sure to add the f for float variable so it won't mix up and not work and then after that we want to do move delay pointer equals time dot time plus the move delay because if we would just have a while function and the while function gets played when right is true then it would loop really fast and it will just make your unity crash and in real life when you put steps there's a delay like you can't do 10 million steps in one second for example so we want a small delay and what this does is it's setting like a timer so if time the time is greater than move delay pointer it will make these two steps and put the move delay pointer to the time dot time back plus the move delay now you want to copy this while loop now after that you want to change this to left equals true and right equals false and then here invoke step left and step to left now our character is not going to walk yet because we have to make these two functions and to make these two functions we have to go down here and then make a public void called step one right and before that we actually want to add a rigid body 
because we want to add an impulse to a rigid body of the leg of the upper leg to be precise and we need a public rigid body 2d let's call it rb left rb right first and then public rigid body 2d called rb left so now we can in step one right we can do rb right dot add force and then to the vector walk right vector comma force mode 2d dot impulse now we want to copy this and change the rigid body to rb left and instead of here just this we want to do something like times 0.5 f because when you move right your right leg goes out and will make the left leg go left so actually need to put a minus here okay now for the next the second step we want to just copy this and step to right and here we want to change this to the rigid body left and this to the rigid body right like this now we can just copy these two things go down here and here step one right we're going to call that step one left and here two step one step two left and instead of walk right vector we're going to call it walk left we're going to call the walk left vector so right now if we would go into unity and here you would have these vectors let's just put 20 on the x axis and when you walk left you want to do minus 20 and on the y axis i found that something like one works and for the move delay let's just put 0.2 and now we need to add these rigid bodies so just add the upper left leg and the upper right leg make sure to add them in the correct slots otherwise it would mess up the whole thing now if i start the game you would see that i can walk like this and there's a problem with walking left let me just check why that happens okay so i see that i have added a walk right factor here i forgot to change it so let's just save that and go inside of unity and now it should work fine and now we will have a ragdoll character that can walk left and walk right right now it looks a bit silly and we see that he glides a lot to change that you can just create a new a new physics material and change the friction to one and add that material to the collider of the ground so if you enjoyed the video please press like it would really help me out to know if you guys like this video and i really hope that you can now make your character walk if you have problems just put them in the reactions below and i'll try to answer the most of them and that was it for today guys bye